tray. They said they would be finished yesterday. I mean, how much banging and shoveling and trenching can a person take? The fairy kids are working on the jewelry pipes under my cafe. I've been trying to make very many banana chips and I couldn't concentrate with all the oh, noise. Oh, now, <laughs> what were you saying? Pretty much what you said. I have to finish writing the song for the Wailing Willows Band, but how can I concentrate with all this noise? Didn't the Barricans say they'd be finished yesterday? Well, they were being hopeful, I guess. And you know how these things go. It's hard to predict how... Oh. Oh. Miss Cherry, top of the morning to you. <laughs> and good morning to you. Hi, guys. How are all the repairs going under the cafe? Uh, well, you see, uh, Miss Strawberry, uh, we, uh, we were trying to tackle this sparkleberry power outage problem that's affecting the entire town, and, and we, um, we kind of crossed some cables under your cafe. I gotta, you know, uncross them. How long will that take? Well, <laughs> we are estimating. Guesstimating. Guaranteeing. Hoping. Planning. Speculating. Uh, skeptically speaking. Calculating. Crossing our fingers. Do you mind? <clears throat> uh, no doubt we will have this all fixed up by end of day. I see. So probably best if the girls and I clear out of town for the day? Say, that way we wouldn't get in each other's way. OK. We'll see you at the end of the day then, Earl and Ed. <laughs> I am losing a whole day of work. I can't finish this song out in the countryside. Uh, I am very stressed. Oh, Cherry, we're all going to lose a day of work, but I don't see any way around it. Let's make the best of the situation. <laughs> a banana chip picnic? They look so good, like gold treasure. <laughs> no, no, no snuffling the treasure, Cinepup. I know, let's do something Different. Oh, no! I had the whole day set aside to organize the home improvement section. What's that? Oh, that could be really fun. I'll get some paper. But, Strawberry, could you, um, come by and help me with a, uh, predicament? Blueberry has a predicament she needs help with. What's a predicament? Um, a pickle? A pickle? A jam. Like a music jam session? <laughs> um, no, more like a, a difficulty, a, a problem. Ooh, that really is a predicament. <laughs> Don't worry, Blueberry. We'll have you out of there in a minute. Predicament. <laughs> okay, so each team has a pen and paper for writing clues? And you all have your secret treasures? Mm -hmm. So how this treasure hunt works is, each team will write three clues. The first clue will lead to the location of the second, and so on. At each location, you will find a secret treasure. Whichever team finds the secret treasures first will win the jackpot! Which is back in town, waiting. Just so we don't get in each other's way, why doesn't my team go this way? And Blueberry, your team could go that way. Good idea, Strawberry. Okay. We will have one hour to hide clues and treasure, and we'll gather back here afterwards. And then we can begin the treasure hunt. Yay! <laughs> All righty, Earl. Let's get everything cleaned up. Oops. <laughs> hey, I think I left my Skittle Jinx by the cable queue joint. Come here, see this? <laughs> 
nothing, would you? What are you talking about? Were you eating toast? No, no, it attacked me. Oh, you were attacked by a piece of toast. Well, Ed, I'm, I'm, I'm only telling you what happened. I don't know how she can stand it. Who can stand what? Strawberry can stand working in a cafe that's, you know, haunted. Haunted. Haunted? There's no such thing, Earl. Eesh, you and your fancy imagination. Well, Ed, I, I'm only telling you what... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got work to do. Come on. <laughs> you made me leave my Skittle Jinx behind again. Well, Ed, I didn't mean to... <laughs> Wait for me! You stay up there. <laughs> okay, let the treasure hunt begin. Yay! <laughs> the first clue is, I'm open in the morning, closed at night. I am blue all the time. Isn't it glorious? Blue. Oh, I know. Could it be Blueberry's bookstore? Her store is open in the morning and closed at night. What do you think, Cherry Jam? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm so distracted about that song I'm supposed to be working on. Come on, Cherry. Get in the spirit. We need your help to win the treasure hunt. You're right, Orange. Okay, let's see. Blueberry's bookstore? Well, it's not closed all the time at night. It's open sometimes at night for book club and, and Barry can story time. And Berry Bitty City is off limits for the treasure hunt, so I don't think they would have hidden the next treasure there. Blue all the time. Isn't it glorious? Why would it be glorious to be blue all the time? You know, blue isn't sad. Cause you're Blueberry? Mm. I don't know. If it's not Blueberry, who is blue all the time? Mm. I know. Glorious. Glory. <gasps> A morning glory flower. And I know where they grow. <laughs> <laughs> They are open in the sunlight, and they close at night. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Bumblebee. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Our first treasure. A sailing cap? Hmm. What's the next clue? Once I was only broken sticks, but I was put together. Then someone gave me shells that will break and give me feathers. Someday I'll lose my feathers, and when comes wind and rain, I'll break apart and be just broken sticks again. I was only broken sticks. Girls, <gasps> have you seen the pups? Pup cake, Santa <gasps> Pop, marmalade! <laughs> oh, you sillies. <laughs> Where have you been playing? parsley by the meadow? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Once I was only broken sticks, but I was put together. Then someone gave me shells that will break and give me feathers. Someday I'll lose my feathers, and when comes wind and rain, I'll break apart and be just broken sticks again. <gasps> A bird's nest! to disturb you. Thank you. Bye now. Another sailing cap. What does the next clue say? Your heads hold the next clue. What? I don't get it. You're both holding sailing caps on your heads. Maybe we're supposed to find a boat? What do you think, Cherry? 
Oh, yeah. Sorry. Worrying about your song? <sighs> I'm sorry, girls. Come on. Let's go check the dock. Oh, how beautiful. I think she's wishing us good luck. when you find me on your picnic blanket. But if you want to find your next clue, come find me. I am a castle, but if I get wet, I'll be a lump. Hmm? Castle, in my shoes, bottom of lake, picnic blanket. <gasps> hmm. I think I've got it. You do? Sand. We have to find a sand castle. The lake. <laughs> Would you mind grabbing me some more nails? I think I left them over by the fridge. The fridge? Well, how about today? Oh, uh, I think the floor is fine. A couple loose boards won't hurt anyone. You know, we can just tell them to walk carefully around this spot. <laughs> I'll just throw a rug over it and nobody will know the difference. What? We, of the official order of Berrican construction workers, trench diggers, and carpenters, do not do sloppy work. You want anything done right, guess you gotta do it yourself. Oh, are you asleep? It's nice to each have treasure, but put your things together. Share, and you'll get there. Start at points north, south, east, and west, then put yourselves together. Hmm. Put our things together. A strawberry patch! A strawberry patch! Put ourselves together? I don't under... Well, I don't... I don't get it. Let's go to the strawberry patch first, then go from there. I don't see anything in the boat. <gasps> Look! Now I have a hat, too! Well, first we have to get it. You guys wait here. We'll be right back. <laughs> if we four split up and each go to the north, east, south and west points of this strawberry patch and put ourselves together, we should end up in the center of the berry patch. Right, Plum? Okay, team. See you in the middle. Hmm. Come on, Scouty. You can help. <laughs> okay, hurry. We have our treasure. Let's be first back to the gazebo. Where did the pups go? Uh... I told them to wait right here on the dock. Hmm. Marmalade! Should we go to the gazebo and then look for them? I think we better look for them now. Cupcake! Pop! Cupcake! Santa Pop! Yeah, boy! Where'd you go? Are you? We made it! Where's the treasure? We are in the center of the berry patch, or thereabouts. Look! There's something buried here. Buried treasure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job, boy. Good job, everybody. Neat! Ah. Let's head back to the gazebo so we can meet first. Those berry bitty banana chips sound pretty good right now. <laughs> Show us the way. Maybe the pups got lost. 
lost. I think we may be lost. I don't recognize anything around here. Oh, this started out so <gasps> fun. But now we are really in a predicament. Oh, no. I'll never get back, and I'll never be able to turn in that song I promised the Wailing Willows. Mm. My work reputation will be ruined. <laughs> now, let's not get carried away. Oh. Oh. I have an idea. Let's play a game to help cheer ourselves up. How about the game Think Up a Song for Cherry? <laughs> How about I Spy? Ooh, I like that game. Okay, you start. Hmm. Okay, I spy something that starts with an F. Uh, a fern? No. I know, a flower. You got it. Okay, your turn. Okay, I spy something that starts with a B. Mm -hmm. Um, a bird? You're too good at this. <laughs> That's so pretty, Cherry. It's the bird's song. Wait, I have an idea. I could write my song about all the beautiful things we've seen in nature today. That's a great idea. I love it. Something like... It 
it looks like we're gonna have to think up something else to do out in the countryside. Oh, that's too bad. Aw, oh, shucks! Aw, oh, yeah, too bad. Meaning she wants to fix something that isn't broken. Well, as I always say, it's good to find new ways of doing things. Shows you take pride in your work. Berry Can Bloom has just delivered his crop of chilies. A hybrid I call the hot and not. Crossed half a jalapeno with a sun-sweet sugar plum and a hint of mint. Been growing them for years. I sort of like them, uh, but I don't imagine anyone else will. Mmm, they look beautiful and smell great. As much as I don't like to agree with my sister, she's right. I use them to make my hot and not chili sauce. Oh, what do you think? Mmm, that is the best chili sauce ever. We have to have it at the cafe. That's twice in one day I've agreed with her. I'm starting to get worried. It's wonderful, Barrick and Bloom. What's your secret? <laughs> no secret, really. I follow three simple rules. You can't rush. Everything takes time. Never give up. There's a solution for every problem. And always add a little loving care. Any job worth doing is worth doing well. I got a text message on my phone, but it says it's for you, Barry and Bloom. It's from... Don't, don't tell me. When it's this time of year, I know who it's from. Tell him I brought here. Left town, out of the country, not expected back for a year. Or, or ten. Wait, he sent you a video. <laughs> who is this guy? <sighs> My cousin, Bertram. Oh, where are you, cuz? I tried every number in Berry Bitty City. This time of year, I bury my phone in the bottom of a flower pot. Hey, you didn't bury your phone in the bottom of a flower pot again, did you? Ha, you know it's that time of year. What's he talking about? Uh, the jelly sauce contest at the Big Berry County Fair. Hope you're not entering the contest. You know I'll win the golden jelly again. <laughs> hey, just because we're cousins, I thought I'd give you a preview. This year, I've cooked my best batch yet. Using my most powerful peppers. Looky, looky! <laughs> Ready for a taste test, my little friend? I'll just give him a drip of a drop to warm up the palate, you see. Don't try this at home, eh? He's a trained professional. <laughs> Let's see you top that, cuz. <laughs> Sometimes he makes me so angry, I can just, just... <sighs> Do forgive me. Great galloping gooseberries. I've never seen him so upset. Cousin Bertram's been getting the best of me since, well, as long as I can remember. When I entered the first hot sauce contest, well, oh, he's won the golden chili every year. Oh, that is so, so wrong. Right, exactly. Oh, you don't need a gold medal to prove how good a chili sauce cook you are. Oh, thank you, my dear. But it wouldn't hurt. I mean, fine, sure, a medal isn't everything, but it's something, and that's better than nothing. And it'd be the perfect way to show up that, that ugh, cousin of yours. Sour's right. There's no reason you can't beat Bert. Uh, yes, but really, I I 
couldn't. It just isn't my, my, my style. Style? When I was faced with making eight dozen rhubarb trifles in one night, did I say, it just isn't my style? When my souffle deflated like a flat tire, did I climb under the covers and pull the sheet over my head? No! I say, enter that contest and beat them! Yeah! <laughs> you can oh, my dear. I know it. <laughs> I thank you, but really, it just isn't what I do. Maybe Barry Can Bloom should do what's comfortable for him. Of course he should. And that means he's got to win that contest. This year, the name Barry Can Bloom will mean hot sauce. Yes? Why, yes! This year is my year! To the Chili Patch! And victory! Victory! <laughs> <laughs> Birdie, once and for all. How are those new chili peppers coming along? Oh, very nearly there, my dears. I call this one the Hoppin' Poppin'. Just a drop of Bloom's very best plant food. Careful now, there, Berry. I got it. Oh, yes. That's what we want to see. Aren't we ready for a taste test? Absolutely. Volunteers! Just try a drop, okay? Give it a moment. The Hoppin' Poppin' Chili Pepper has a delayed reaction. <laughs> Him. Another video. It's okay. You got him beat. He just doesn't know it yet. Greetings, cuz! I thought you might like to see how things are going here. Behold, my latest creation! And there's hot. And that's hot. You'll just have to make yours even hotter. More peppers, Barry Can Bloom. The hottest you have. It's rocket fuel. There's no way I could compete with him. How does he do it? Bertram? I don't know. He wins. He always wins. There's no use going on. Wait, wait. Here, take a look at this. What am I supposed to look at? That. What is that stuff? So that's his trick. 
Mm, I should have known. That, my dear, is the hottest chili pepper in the very bitty world. The big blue blazer. Wow. Do you have any? Can you grow one? No, unfortunately, no. It's a very rare species, a giant chili that only grows under conditions which cannot be duplicated in a garden. Well, if Bertram got one, they gotta grow somewhere. So, where? No one knows. It's said they need a speckle of sunlight, a dollop of dew, a whisper of wind, and a twist of morning mist. Speckle sunlight, dollop dew, wind whisper, twist mist. Fits those conditions. Where exactly is this meandering meadow? You cross Dewdrop Dell, up Loganberry Hill, then a half a mile to the meadow. <laughs> Sounds easy. If we get one of these big blue blazers, can you make it into hot sauce? Well, of course. But there's hardly time, my dear. The contest is only a day and a half away. How long would it take to get there and get back? If there's no bad weather, um, we can have it by noon tomorrow. Plenty of time. What do you say, Apple? Should we go for it? If it's a giant chili, we're gonna need some help bringing it back. I'll call Strawberry. <laughs> okay, Bloom. Have everything ready to go the second we bring the blue blazer back. Come on, Apple. <laughs> Oh, it's lovely of them, but still hopeless. Bertram always finds a way to win. Are you sure this is what he wants? Absolutely. And keep his spirits up while we're gone, okay? How? I don't know. Distract him. Do that happiness thing you do. Let's go, go, go! We need to get to Loganberry Hill by nightfall. mind off the contest. It's sweet of you, sweet. And it worked. I haven't thought at all about it. Oh, where are you? You know you can't hide from me. Him. Hope you're not wasting time with the contest. <laughs> you don't stand a chance. Take a look at... Thought I'd turned that off. It hardly matters, my dear. <sighs> He's right, of course. I'll never win that contest. But Bear can bloom. What is it you always say? Never give up. I do say that, don't I? And I won't give up. There's still time, still hope. If our friends get back by noon tomorrow. According to your map, we ought to be there right about... Oh. There must be something wrong. The map doesn't show this. We can't climb down there. It'd take a week. What are we going to do? Hmm. Strawberry! I'm thinking about what Barry Kim Bloom says. There's a solution for every problem. Come on! Isn't this lovely? And no way for Cousin What's-His-Name to intrude. For me? Oh, well, thank you. There's no hiding from me, guys. Take it here. My new batch of hot sauce simmering on the stove. The sound of victory. Blue 
laser. <laughs> oh boy, we're having fun now. Say, want to go for a walk? Uh oh, why not? It's too chilly outside. <laughs> What you can do when uh, you really try. But we gotta get going. I know, Strawberry. But give us this moment to feel proud of what we've accomplished. We did it. And we did it for Berrykin Bloom. Right. But we gotta get going. What do we do? <gasps> we better not go out there. We have to find a way to... My, what a predicament you have here. But I see you found the last blue blazer of the season. Still, it's not doing my cousin much good out here. Well, you don't need to worry. We'll take care of this. Oh, no. Let me help. I insist. What are you doing? some low things in my day, but you are the lowest. You don't play fair, Barry Kim Bertram. No, I play to win. <laughs> <gasps> it's nearly noon. I'm sure they'll be here. It was an ambitious undertaking, my dear. I'd be very surprised if... There they are! You made it! You're back! And the blue blazer? It's in the bottom of a gorge, in little pieces. But, but, what happened? Barry Ken Bertram, he destroyed the blue blazer! We're so sorry, Barry Ken Blue. There's no cause to be, my dears. You tried your best, and that's all anyone can ask. <laughs> I guess we'd better pack all this up. Yeah, we'll do it. It's the least we can do. What is that delicious aroma? Oh, another batch of hot and not sauce. I made it while I was waiting. Mmm! Isn't that good? We're adding it to the cafe's menu. Have you ever entered this in the contest? Oh, goodness, no. It's not nearly as hot as the sauce Cousin Bertie makes. But it's delicious. <laughs> and what really matters is, it's yours. You know, she's right. Mm -mm, never considered it before. Uh, but uh, why not? We don't have much time, but we can get it there if we hurry. All we can do is wait to hear from the judges. Have you heard anything about the contest yet? Uh, no, but uh, uh, no, my dear, no. I hadn't thought about it really uh, until you just mentioned it. <laughs> Put it completely out of my mind. <laughs> hey, any word from the judges? <laughs> Not that I care, mind you. Well, only curious. I came by to see if you've heard anything. Not yet, but we could get a call any second. It's them! Well, what did they say? How did Barry can... Blue? Where'd he go? He had to leave. Take a message. Oh, what did they say? No, no, no never mind. I don't want to know. I mean, of course I do. And, uh, oh, but I don't. And I do. <laughs> if you see what I mean. Bertie won't be happy about that. <laughs> he 
was disqualified for conduct unbecoming a chili grower. They said Barry Ken Bloom's saw showed great craftsmanship. A lot of time and effort went into it, and it was obviously made with great loving care. That's more than a sauce. It's you, Barrican Bloom. Really, my dear, I find myself speechless. I simply don't know what to say. Well, I do. I say, get busy. Start making more hot and not sauce. We put it on our very best bits page catalog, and we're already getting orders. Oh, no, not again. No, it's from the contest judges. doing? A music track for Strawberry's birthday video. I'm putting it together like a birthday memory album so Strawberry can post it on her very best bits page. Huh. Want to try one more before lunch? <laughs> if we can do the narration without giggling this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Every time I see that scene of me with the feathers... <laughs> <clears throat> Okay. Serious? <laughs> Serious. <sighs> Let's roll one. Strawberry Shortcake Birthday Memories Video, take three. Rolling! Really, I thought it would be just like any other day. Because I'd forgotten what day it was. But I was about to be reminded. But that was only the start. You see, this is what we do for each other on all our birthdays. We try to give them their perfect day. We have a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wasn't over yet. The day ended with a sleepover. Which turned into <laughs> a pillow fight. <laughs> fight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I knew it. Every time we get to that scene, she loses it. Oh! <laughs> oh, did she hit? I know that! <laughs> Wish I could have a birthday like that. Mine are never fun. 
How come? Gotta share them with my sister, sweet. Just once I wish I could have a birthday all my own. But I guess that's never, ever, never gonna happen. Uh, how come? Oh, <laughs> yeah, cause she's your twin. Her birthday's always gonna be your birthday too. Wow, looks good. Thanks, Sour. Oh, and please thank Sweet, too. <laughs> but it wasn't over yet. The day ended with a sleepover. Oh, that's so cute. Here comes the part where Strawberry kept which, cracking up. Which turned into <laughs> a pillow fight. <laughs> Oh, hi, Sour. Hi. I would have cleaned all this up. It was my day. It was our day. It was the very best of days. And there. Saved into Strawberry's birthday memory album. Aw, Apple, that is so sweet. Sour, you gotta see. Seen it. That was an incredible birthday you guys gave Strawberry. We try to make everyone's birthday wishes come true. And I happen to know two birthdays that are coming up. Oh, wow. You mean ours? Thanks again for lunch, Sour. <sighs> you just talk to your sister when she <laughs> feels like talking again. Figure out what you'd like to do for the day and send out invitations. We'll take care of the rest. Really? I bet Sour would like to go trail riding. It's her favorite. Or I wonder if she'd want... Oh, I already know what Sour wants. Well, you do? What is it? Huh? Oh, she said all she wanted was for once to have a birthday all her own. <gasps> her own? Yeah, huh? Oh, when did she say that? Today. She said she's sick and tired of sharing a birthday every year uh, and... Apple, could you help me with this? Yeah, hold on, Strab. Just want it. <laughs> ha, there it is. Did she say anything else? Sure. Like, her dream of having her birthday all to herself is never, ever, never, ever, never... Hold on. What was I saying? Um, helping never, me. Never, ever? Yeah. Never, ever, ever gonna happen, because you're like twins. And your birthday will forever be on the same day kind of stuff. <gasps> she seemed kind of sad about it. Oh. What's wrong with her? Um... Oh, Apple, why did you tell her that? What? What Sour said? Cause... Because she said it. But... She's even sadder than Sour was. Oh, no. Is it because I told her what Sour said? But then why didn't she just say it was a secret? Some things aren't meant to be repeated, even if they aren't an official secret. But, but then how are you supposed to know when it's okay to repeat what you've heard and when it isn't okay? Sometimes that's a tough one to answer. Oh, I don't get it. I mean, I spent the whole month on Berryberry Berry Island and everybody there tells everybody everything. Sour, can I talk to you about your birthday? You mean our birthday? I have this condition called twin sister, in case you hadn't noticed. Not this year. What do you mean? This year, I'm giving you an early birthday present. Oh, please don't let it be matching jumpsuits again. No, no. My present to you this year is a birthday all your own. Say that again. This year, I'm giving up celebrating my birthday so you can have the day for yourself. Is this like that time you found 10,001 knock-knock jokes on the Berry web and thought they were so funny you read them to me for 11 hours straight? This is no joke. Your party, your presents, your birthday. F f f for real? For real.
gotta mail something important here. Special delivery, birthday's tomorrow, invitations. Uh, gotta go out. Step on it. Here, here. Got him? Great. Wait, stop, stop! You forgot orange! No. My birthday. You're invited. Yours! This birthday invitation only has Sour on it. That's because it's from Sour, not me. That's my present to Sour this year. Her own birthday without me. Oh, let me get you lemonade. Her own day, her own party, her own presents. Can you believe that? What a sweet thing to do. Looks like she's got a really fun day planned for you guys. Well, for you too, right? Not exactly. You mean she... Well, she invited you, right? No, she doesn't have to. It's her birthday, and I want her to have it her way. Oh, there I go again. Are you sure that's what you want? Sure. It's my present to my sister. Sweet. I just gotta say, what you're doing has to be the most giving birthday present anyone has ever given. <laughs> Thanks, Strawberry. See you later. Bye. Oh, is that nice or what? I vote what? This is all my fault. If only I hadn't blabbed. But Sweet wants to do it. Sure, but only because I spilled the cheese. Spilled the cheese? Yeah, you know, let the cat out of the hat. Do you mean <laughs> let the cat out of the bag? Yeah, yeah. That's what Plum said. And she's right. I guess... <sighs> Berry Bummy Bayou, they say let the nuts out of the shell. It's hard to keep these different customs straight. Well, that's all water under the bridge. Chimney! Bridge? On Berry Berry Island, they say chimney. It's just an expression. Well, I'm not expressing myself ever again. I get everyone in trouble and they can feel bad. Now, come on. Let's think of something fun, like uh, all the things Sour has planned for tomorrow. Let's see the invitation. What invitation? The one you're <laughs> holding. Um, well, what if I was invited but you weren't? And then I tell you and you find out. <laughs> Busted bumpers. You see what I mean? But I was invited. That's how I know what the item is that you're hiding behind your back. Apple, it's okay to show me. You sure? <laughs> Look at all the fun things we're gonna do. Without sweet, thanks to me. No. 
Nope. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. No. Um... No. No. Uh-uh. No. 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 Nope. No. Sorry. No. Strawberry! Where's Strawberry? Oh, there you are. We got a problem. The birthday's going bad. What's the problem? Uh, hard to say. It's less of a what and more of a who. Oh, uh, who's the problem? That's what's hard to say. Why? Because if I tell you, I might get someone in trouble. Who? Sour! <gasps> I let the cheese out of the bag. I mean, I spilled the cat. Apple? I think it's okay for you to tell me. Oh, Sour isn't having a good time. The more we do for her, the more unhappy she gets. Something's wrong, but none of us can figure out what. Uh-oh. Sweet made me promise to make Sour's birthday perfect. I'm glad you told me, Apple. Time to call for reinforcements. Phew. Have you ever seen anything so hysterical? <laughs> sweet? Uh, you didn't invite her. I, I meant strawberry. Have you ever seen anything? <sighs> Did I say? <laughs> I, I meant strawberry. Did I say sweet? <laughs> Missing. But I think I know how to fix it. Can you help me with something back at the cafe? Sure. Giddy up. Let's go. Come on, boy. Are you going? I'm sorry, sweet. This is awfully awkward. I looked at the time and. I I gotta go change for, you know, Sour's birthday party. Plum, it's okay. Go, go have fun. I'm fine. I'm enjoying myself here. I'm sorry, but I, I have to say it. Say what? Well, I know I shouldn't say it because it's your sister and all, but I... No, I've got to get it off my chest. I mean, what sister doesn't invite a sister to a sister's birthday party on a sister's birthday? It, it's just wrong. That's all. It, it's just... Oh, I don't get it. It's... It's not nice. Plum, I am absolutely fine with it. It was my idea. How often do you get the opportunity to give someone what they truly want for their birthday? And like you said, she's my sister. And her having a perfect birthday means everything to me. <sighs> You're... Amazing. Being so sweet. I just... You go get changed. I'll finish my kiwi smoothie. Okay, but I still feel bad leaving you here. Sweet! Sweet! Oh, good. Strawberry said you'd probably be here. Hi, Plum. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh... What is it? Apple, what is it? Uh... uh Strawberry told me to tell you something. And not to tell you something else. Uh-huh. So? But I'm not so sure which part is which. There's definitely a possibility here that I could spill... What? Web? Oh, wreck everything. Is the right which part about... The cafe? about the next travel report on your very webpage? Uh. Well, I don't know. 
thought it was worth a guess. Is it about my sister's birthday? Ah! That's it! That's what I'm supposed to tell you. You, sweet, are cordially invited to Sour's birthday party at the cafe. But I'm not saying anything else. My lips are sunk. I mean, sealed. Not another word. Not a single word. I'm not putting my foot near my mouth ever. Not blabbing anything. Not getting anyone in any trouble, which is why you won't hear a word from me. Not a single word. Oh, oh hey. Oh, 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 yeah. 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 Just like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you guys, what is this? Uh, birthday party decorations? Oh, well, yeah, but they're my favorite color, not sours. Uh, guys, this isn't the music she likes. We've got to change it. Wait, want to cut the cake? Sour's the birthday girl. She gets to do that. Will you do it, sweet? Oh, Sour, happy birthday. Okay, I'll do it, if you want me to. Uh-oh, this is angel food cake. Sour doesn't like this kind of cake. It's my favorite. Because it's your party. I'm giving your birthday back to you. Everybody did wonderful things to make my birthday perfect, but something was missing. It was my sister. <laughs> I guess it wasn't a birthday without you. There's still plenty of birthday left today. Let's share it together. Happy birthday!